I'm rolling, so... Welcome to hell, man. <laughs> we are behind the scenes. So it was at the Midway Drive-In. We shot there for two nights. First night, we shot the zombies. We got like 40 zombies. All I had to get them to sign a waiver and all that shit. It's really great. There's so many people have come out. Talented folks coming together to build something awesome. Tonight is the uh, the big zombie night on uh, on Hellvan. We are at the uh, the Midway Drive-In in scenic. Uh, is this technically Ravenna, Ohio? Is it, is, it is. It is scenic yeah, Ravenna. The, the yeah. carjacking capital of the world, and uh, we uh, uh, we're, we're working on zombies. So uh, as you can see from over there, the uh, uh, what was it? We got we got about roughly about close to 50 zombies. Now we're going to be working on, and and Jorge has been nice enough to ask me to be guest director. On the uh, on the zombie scene, so so I'm just trying desperately not to fuck that up. That, that's my that's my goal. So what is happening back here? Now? So right now we are filming the death scene of our wonderful reporter. Okay, cameras rolling. 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 Sound. Sound. Action. Babe, this is your ticket out of Texas. This is Barbara Baxter, Channel 6 News, live from the Midway Drive-In, where I've discovered the hell thing. So, so the reporter in the movie, uh, at one point, the, the hell thing, the doors burst open and with the, I don't know, wind of hell or so blows her dress off. Uh, now, we only had one dress, yeah. which means we had to do some shots with her wearing the dress. And then we had about five minutes or so to prepare a dress that can be ripped off, uh, which meant doing some very quick uh, you know, tailoring with some scissors and some double-sided tape and fishing wire to set something up so that we can you know, rip that off uh, cleanly. I open the van and I'm just like, ah! and like my dress gets ripped off. It's, it's a, and it's just intense because there is a string attached to every little piece of clothing. This is one of the special effects that, you know, it's nice if you can rehearse these and get a good idea of how strong, for example, double-sided tape is. Uh, we may have misgaged that slightly, so the first time we pulled, I believe, the, the fishing line snapped. The second time we did it, the dress came apart, but in doing so, that kind of pulled her to the ground. I was fine. I'm fine. I'm like rubber girl. Um, but then they had to, you know, refit it, do it again. But yeah. And then we, you know, we do it again. It was basically the same thing, but with a lot less tape, and it worked. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Is this in your shot? It is. went a little lower. Oh my god. <laughs> This is gonna be so cold. <laughs> and then I just get doused in blood. Clothes have been ripped off. One, two, three. Cut. Amy, are you okay? I'm okay. Holy <laughs> fuck, that was so cool. That was so cool. <laughs> Sorry. Cut. Let's clean her up here. Wait a minute. It's all happening so fast, so every now and then, if, when making these these movies, you kind of take a step back and kind of appreciate, like, okay, I'm doing something weird, I'm doing something fun, I'm throwing five gallons of blood at a half-naked woman. No, it's good, it's to. good. Oh my god, was that, okay? that was incredible. Okay. <laughs> the goal was, at sunset, buckets of blood on our Scream Queen, drag her into the van, get her warm, send her home, and zombie action all night long. That's it. Zombie action all night long. Yeah. That's what I like to hear.